evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The Armenians of Artsakh are fighting for their existence. Friends must help them. Le Figaro. The Turks have fled. Our boys are now chasing them. Rudikus Nunes about Chushi. Agreement reached now to target civilian population based on Geneva meeting. Azerbaijan using prohibited phosphorus munitions against civilians in Artsakh. About 50 Turks stormed the Catholic Church in Vienna. Project prepared to restore 1,200-year-old church in Harbour to Western Armenia. More than 40 authors asked Emmanuel Macron to help the Armenians of Artsakh, which are threatened by the Baku military offensive supported by Erdogan. Shocked by the horrific murder of a professor and then what happened in the Church of Nice, the French people marvel at the sources of the barbarism and think of the ways to put an end to it. Another drama is being played out 3,500 kilometers away from home, where the same barbarity is in action. In Artsakh, beheadings are also carried out. For the past month, the Armenians have been in a dramatically unequal, desperate struggle there against the Turkish-Azerbaijani coalition supported by hundreds of jihadist mercenaries. The affair is not just a distant territorial conflict, it concerns all of us. Armenians are fighting the same enemy. You can read the full article on our website. Chief advisor to the President of the Republic of Artsakh, Ambassador and Special Assignment Rudy Kuznuns had a conversation with Media Lab. I have been in that area with our boys since morning. Everything is clean in the gorge now. After the Artsakh President's call, he ordered special operations and our Defense Army carried out them in glory. Answered Rudy Kuznuns on Arei Karutunya's latest speech on Shushim. As a result of our targeted strikes, the enemy group was destroyed by hundreds of people with their weapons. The Turkish Azerbaijani thugs were scattered. In particular, the Turks received special training from NATO special forces. The task of all Armenians is to do everything today to be able to keep our Shushi, that sacred symbol like a biblical mount Ararat. If we lost Shushi, we will lose our vision. Preserving Shushi is the sacred duty of all Armenians, he mentioned. An agreement has been reached between the Armenian and Azerbaijani foreign ministers mediated by the OIC Minsk Group co-chairs on not targeting civilian population and non-military objects. The co-chairs of the OIC Minsk Group released the following statement today. The co-chairs met separately and jointly with Armenian Foreign Minister Zohrab Manatsakanyan and Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov in Geneva on October 13. They also had consultations with UN High Commissioner for Refugees Filippo Grandi and ICRC President Peter Mulrer. The co-chairs once again called on the sides to implement in full their commitments, including the immediate establishment of a humanitarian ceasefire in accordance with October 10 Moscow joint statement, which the sides were affirmed with Paris on October 17 and in Washington on October 25. Without prejudice to the implementation of the ceasefire or other commitments, the sides agreed to take a number of steps on an urgent basis, including the sides will not deliberately target civilian populations or non-military objects the sides will not deliberately target civilian populations or non-military objects in accordance with international humanitarian law. The sides will actively engage in the implementation of the recovery and exchange of remains on the battlefield by providing the ICRC and PRCI all the necessary safety guarantees for facilitation. The sides will deliver to the ICRC and PRCI all within one week a list of currently detained prisoners of war for the purpose of providing access and eventual exchange. The sites will provide in writing comments and questions related to possible ceasefire verification mechanism in accordance with the item 2 of October 10 joint statement. The sites engaged in an open and substantive exchange of views aimed at clarifying their negotiating positions on core elements of a comprehensive solution in accordance with item 3 of October 10 joint statement. The co-chairs will continue to work in with the sites intensively to find a peaceful settlement of the conflict, reads the statement. Azerbaijan uses white phosphorus weapons in forests near civilian settlements in Artsakh. As this weapon contains many dangerous elements for human life, it is necessary to know the effects of white phosphorus. White phosphorus is a banned weapon. It is an extremely toxic substance that has several unpleasant properties. When it burns, it sticks to any surface. This often results in a severe spasm leading to death. An unexperienced person cannot help the injured. In such cases, it is very likely that the person receiving medical treatment will get burns from its toxic substance. 
About 15 young Turks stormed the Catholic Church of St. Anton von Padua in Vienna's favorite district, the Courier newspaper reported, citing police. It is reported that about 50 criminals broke into the church on Thursday evening and organized a riot there. The newspaper writes that the attackers shouted Allah Akbar and attacked the confessional room. The deputy priest of the church told the police that the young man hid before the police arrived. However, police said that the incident appeared in the video. According to the Land Protection Ministry, a group of Turkish Islamists have been taking part in the attack which has been gaining attention in the district for several months. Police managed to find out the identities of 10 young people who were involved in various cases of public order violations, Ria Novosti reported. The 1,200-year-old Holy Mother of God Church in the village of Habab, Western Armenia, continues to fight against time. According to the written sources, until the 9th century, the church was used as a hospital, and then the local people used it as a mosque. The building, which was used as a mosque for 40 years, has been left empty since the construction of the new mosque began. The historic building, which has existed for centuries, is in danger for collapsing due to the natural phenomenon. This year, under the auspices of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, the project was prepared by the administration of the Harput Museum, in parallel with which internal cleaning works were carried out inside the church. It was reported that if the project prepared after the current work is approved, the historic building will be restored. Now let us represent your attention a song by Nairian Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.